mole mass calculations. Objectives. Convert from moles to mass. Convert from mass to moles. Converting from moles to mass. If we are given a specific amount of moles, we can multiply that by its molar mass of the substance to get the mass required. For example, determine the mass of 3 moles of CO2, carbon dioxide. We are given 3 moles and we are asked to find the mass. We need to go from moles to mass. The first step is to find the molar mass of CO2. Carbon, there are 1. We multiply 12.01 grams by 1 for a total of 12.01 grams. Oxygen, there are 2. The molar mass is 16.00 grams. We multiply it by 2 for 32.00 grams. The total mass is 40.01 grams. The molar mass of carbon dioxide is 40.01 grams. The second step is now to find the mass of 3 moles of CO2. We know, we know the mass for 1. Now we need to multiply it by 3 to find the molar mass for 3 moles. So, 3 moles of carbon dioxide has a mass of 120.03 grams. We simply multiply the number of moles by the molar mass of the substance to get the required mass. Practice question. Determine a mass of 0.50 moles of C4H8. We are given the number of moles and we ask to find the mass. We are going from moles to mass. The first step is to find the molar mass or the gram formula mass of C4H8. That is 56.12 grams per mole. The second step is to go from the moles to mass. We are given 0.5 moles. We know the molar mass. We are going to use the formula. Given mass is equal to moles multiplied by molar mass. 0 0.5 multiplied by 56.12 gives us 28.06 grams. Half a mole of C4H8 has a mass of 28.06 grams. Converting from mass to moles. Earlier we were given moles to find mass, but now we are going from mass to find out how many number of moles there are. So, we need to use the gram formula mass or the molar mass to find out the number of moles. For example, to determine the number of moles of NaOH present in 60.0 gram sample, we are given the mass of NaOH and we need to find the moles of NaOH. We are now going from mass to moles. The first step is to find the molar mass or the gram formula mass of NaOH. We did that earlier, we found it to be 40.01 grams. The second step is to find how many moles of NaOH is present in that mass. We are given 60 grams. We know the gram formula mass or the molar mass is 40.01 grams per mole. Dividing that we have 1.5 moles is present in 60 grams of NaOH. Practice. How many moles of MgOH2, magnesium hydroxide, are present in 8.40 gram of the sample? We're given the mass of MgOH2. We need to find the moles. So we're going from mass to moles. The first step is to find the gram formula mass or the molar mass of MgOH2. That is found to be 58.33 grams per mole. The second step is to find how many moles are present in that mass. Using the formula, moles is equal to given mass divided by the molar mass. We insert the given mass, which is 8.40 grams, divided by the molar mass, 58.33 grams per mole. There are 0.144 moles of MgOH2 in 8.40 grams of the substance. A summary. First, we went from moles to the number of particles in the first video, and in this video we went from moles to molar mass. We now have a connection between the number of particles and molar mass, so we can go back and forth directly. Concept check question 1. 
What is the mass in grams of two moles of NO2? Ninety-two grams. How did we get there? We had to go from moles to mass. The first step was to find the gram formula mass of NO2, which is forty-six point zero one grams. Then we use the formula: mass is equal to moles multiplied by molar mass. We know the molar mass for one mole. Therefore, when we multiply it by two, we have ninety-two grams. Concept check question two. Determine the total number of moles represented by 20 grams of calcium carbonate. The answer is 0 0.2. How did we get there? We had to go from mass to moles. The first step was to find the gram formula mass or the molar mass of calcium carbonate, CaCO3, which is 100.09 grams. The second step was to use the formula moles, moles is equal to the given mass divided by the gram formula mass. We are given 20 grams. We divide that by the molar mass of CaCO3, 100.09. We have 0 0.2 moles. Question 3. Identify the total mass in grams of 0 0.75 moles of SO2. The answer is 48 grams. We had to go from moles to mass. The first step was to find the gram formula mass or the molar mass of SO2. That was found to be 64 grams per mole. Next, we had to use the formula moles is equal to the given mass divided by gram formula mass. We rearranged to find the given mass is equal to the moles multiplied by gram formula mass, which is 48 grams. Earlier, we never rearranged the formula. The reason I'm giving this now is because in the reference table T of your chemistry reference table, they give you the formula moles is equal to the given mass divided by gram formula mass. Therefore, in the regions, you would probably have to rearrange the equation to find the given mass. Since the gram formula mass is dividing the given mass, when you move it over the equal sign, we multiply it. Therefore, the given mass is equal to the moles multiplied by the gram formula mass. Question 4. What is the total number of moles contained in 115 grams of C2H5OH? In this question, we are asked to go from mass to moles. The first step was to find the gram formula mass or the molar mass of C2H5OH, which is 46 grams per mole. Step 2 was to use the formula moles is equal to the given mass divided by gram formula mass. We are given 115 grams. When we divide it by the formula mass, 46 grams per mole, we get 2.5 moles. Our answer is choice 4, 2.5 moles. Question 5. A student measured 56 grams of Fe2O3, iron oxide, iron 3 oxide, for a laboratory experiment. How many moles of Fe2O3 does this mass represent? First, we need to find the gram formula mass or the molar mass of Fe2O3 which is found to be 160 grams per mole. The second step is to use that information to find the number of moles. We are given 56 grams. We divide that by 160 grams per mole and we have 0.35 moles, choice two.